Internet connection is unstable. Thank you, T-Mobile. Excuse me. Doggies. <laughs> Going through the art alley here. It's July, first Friday. through the art alley. Why this thing goes all the way up. Come on, dogs. The title of this should be Doggies Looking for Places to Pee Amongst the Art. No, Jimmy, we're not doing that. Doggies are getting attention. Come here, Jim. Jimmy, come here. Sally, you're not doing what you're going to do.
Jimmy, come on. Don't wrap around me, Jimmy. This time I brought the dogs. I was casting about for an area to walk the dogs earlier. Okay, so and then it dawned on me. So I had this weird thing out when I met Anna. That is first Friday. Completely slipped my mind. There's been a lot on my mind lately. Don't even want to go into it. Just a lot of personal stuff. Excuse me. But the weather is good for walking the dogs. There's lots of people out to gawk at. Some art we can see. Maybe peek in some windows. Jimmy, no. You're not going in there. Look around in here. No, Jimmy, you're not going in there. Doggy's not allowed. This is the Beko Gallery. That would have been different. Like Stella, don't wrap really around me. Yeah. 
and for all the domas out there. This is a, a video that you can enjoy. Because it's summertime, it's hot. And you know what happens when it's hot. There's not, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's already past the time. Jimmy, God, don't wrap around me. Looks like these galleries have already closed up for the shop for the night. Where are you going, Jimmy? Are you trying to get yourself run over? Alright. Let's go look at this dressed up combi over here. Or Kubelwagen. Or in the States they called it the Thang. Oh yeah. Decked out like that though. Is it stock or have you had to do something to it? It's it's it's, it's stock. Because <laughs> like, I hear they're not the greatest car stock. <laughs> not very much power and everything else. No, 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 but it's for like this. It's for partying. Yeah, it's for fun. Yeah, yeah. I I would love to have one actually. Yeah. The doors come off. The windshield folds down. Yeah. It's the German Jeep. Yeah. Was the German Jeep. Yeah. Yeah, well, I love VWs anyway. But I have to settle for Subarus. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's got all the original seats and stuff. Yeah. Looks like he's ready for the desert. The roll bar is nice. Yeah. <laughs> And it's got like holes in the bottom so when it rains it drains out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got, <laughs> it's got a rubber plug. We used to, there's a coffee house up here and the owner of the coffee house had a white one. Oh, yeah. The 74. It really came in three colors. <laughs> was this one of them? I think yellow was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was yellow, orange, and white. Yeah. I've seen the orange ones. 72. <laughs> Pretty neat. Version down in Mexico that was like uh, white and blue combo. Yeah. They used them at the resorts. Oh yeah. This one looks like it's been lowered or something, or the different tires are. And the door handles aren't stock either, but the steering wheel and everything inside. Yeah. It's all legit. I like the windshield wiper motor is right there. My first car was a 61 Bug. Oh yeah. It rag top and it had the small 9 volt battery. <laughs> yeah. So it was, when it rained, you mm -hmm. could either like have your windshield wipers on or your headlights. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't do both. I had a 70 Bug and the um, windshield washer worked off the tire. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. My, uh, and the, uh, the electrical system was actually easy to work on. You just pull the thing out and follow the wiring yeah. diagram, and it's all there under the dash. My, my 61 didn't even have a, uh, a, a gas gauge. Oh, it, it that's fun. It tilt tank yeah. where uh, there's a little lever at the bottom, yeah. and you tilt it, and it gives you an extra uh, gallon of gas. <laughs> to get to where you need to go, yeah. which in those cars is probably pretty far. I think it's a 72. Really? Yeah. I, I was trying to figure out what this even is. It's a Volkswagen thing. <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yep. That's what they called it in the States. They made it for two years. Wow. 72, 73. Weren't they surplus German military? Yeah. No. They weren't? It's like a toy to have. I got one in my garage. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Huh. Yeah. Door handle. And the roll bar. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, uh, uh, Dave's had the metal roof. The what? The metal roof. Yeah. That he took off. And he would, when summer would come, he'd take the roof off. And the doors off, definitely. But, uh, and then uh, as soon as fall would hit, he would put all that stuff back on. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, people walk by, they have no idea what Oh, uh, yeah, there's a certain generation. I remember that from the 70s. I'm, not, I'm old enough. That's sad, but I'm old enough. <laughs> yeah, I could uh, share VW horror stories. <laughs> like how they become Flintstone mobiles, especially in the back seat. Or the electrical system, if you don't keep that cover on, the rain gets in the, the uh, shroud and, and turns into steam, which makes you think you're on fire. And, of course, fire is one of the scariest things in a VW. <laughs> Behind the back seat, right? It had a little like storage area. That was made out of some kind of weird material. Oh yeah, when I was really, really little, when we lived on Guam, I could fit in that back part. Yeah, yeah. And I loved to sit back there, but it was like you'd fry your fanny because that's where the engine is. But it was something weird, like some <laughs> kind of. Like yeah. Typical grass or something that they <laughs> wove to make that stuff. It felt, remember how it was like super like sharp and brushy? Yeah. I don't, I don't quite remember all that. I, I remember we, we rented one on Guam that was brand new and rode it around. And I love the thing. I've been in love with them ever since when I was probably like five years old. I figure here those would have been long gone 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take all care. right. Nice talking to you. So we go to an art show, turns into a car show. That happens. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I'm exactly in the total mood for art and crowds. I mean, I don't know. I'm here. But when I would come here often, I would go over and look at a few trains. The beer flu influenza epidemic is still having its effects on everything, as it should. is part of my personal drama that's going on but I'm not going to be subtle if you haven't gotten your vaccine shot you're a stupid idiot you need to go out and get it now Anybody tells you otherwise, don't listen to them. Otherwise, I'm going to say this. You deserve what you're going to get. Just don't give it to me and my family and my friends. And I hope the death you, you are going to get is as horrible as it is. I'm not going to be subtle about that. I don't know who some of you people are listening to. You need to stop. It's nothing to play with. And every person that doesn't get vaccinated, another person adding that percentage, um, that we can't get to herd immunity, which is we as a human race. More likelihood that a stronger, more virulent uh, strain is going to come along. They're already saying that the Delta strain, which came out of India, is starting to infect 
people who've gotten the shots. So what's it going to take for people to wake up? A pathogen that has a 10% death rate? How about 50? How about 70? Maybe 100? The last human being on earth, please turn off the lights. I hope the next whatever comes along and inherits the earth is smarter than we were. I'm not playing around with this. I have every reason to say what I'm saying. Getting our exercise, going up the, to the the bridge, where we can watch the trains. Come on, dongs. You know, one of the things I'm starting to enjoy, and I've always enjoyed it, and for whatever re reason, I started looking for it on the tubes. Oh, excuse me. Is uh, exploring junkyards. All right, here we are. The bridge. This uh, is how I all the shape I am. This is made from the Pencoy Bridge, which they shipped in from the North Bottoms here in Kansas City. It's called the Pencoid Bridge because it's made by a company called Pencoid. Look how beautiful that is. For the, well, I, I don't mean with the garbage in the front, but you know, the sun setting. I don't know if we'll see a train hit or miss. It's usually very busy here. Uh, we have at least until I catch my breath. I don't get enough exercise. Oh, never mind. Here comes a train. Let's guess which track it's going to go on and get above it. Ah, looks like the one way over here. Do, 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 do. Hurry up, Jim. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hang on. Iconic view of Kansas City. We can see there's the Western Auto sign, the train underneath. Alrighty. We got lucky. The train showed up immediately. Is there another one coming from the other direction? Quite often there is. Oop. 
metal on metal. Uh, all the way in, get that nice, pretty perspective. Hi, Orly. How are you doing? I see you're on Facebook, yay! We're kind of walking around. That is me and the, the dogs here. We're sort of forgetting about things, obviously, for a while. <coughs> I don't know how my audio is. Or if I even have audio. Keep looking. Come on, Jim. Oh. Come on, Jimmy. So, going down the stairs should be easier than coming up, right, Jim? Maybe not for a short little dog. Good. I guess we're okay. We're just a little sad these days. Oh, don't pull me down the stairs, Jimmy. I saw that you posted on Facebook that you have, you've gotten your, your shot. My audio is loading. Ah, let me see. Oh, it does look a little crunchy. This may make it worse for a while. There we go. Oop. Check, check. Hey, all right, I think that's as low as it goes. I was saying I heard you got your, uh, your shot you posted on Facebook. That's a good thing. I was just going off on these people who choose not to get shots, uh, vaccines for the beer fluenza, as we call it online. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, we haven't, we haven't been talking about it too much. It had been kind of hinting at it. It's one of the reasons why I went on my little tirade about getting our shots. But I know it's, it's easier for some people than it is for others. Yeah, we're very, very sad here. I guess that they're saying that the kids have not been informed, if you know what I mean, and so we're kind of not talking about it too much. Uh, this area is empty, empty. That was my 
segue into talking about the, the beer flu because normally on a first Friday in the art walk this place would be so busy you could hardly walk around here but it's also pretty late I know a lot of the galleries on this street up here close there's downtown here and cross on up to Main Street and then head on east and then probably call it quits be a kind of a loop around because I'm parked on the west side I should point more towards downtown it's prettier that way oh man looks like they painted over the the motor motel sign damn it maybe it's on this building no I think it was on that building There was a sign painted on the bricks. It said motor motel or something like that. Piece of Kansas City history, which I guess some people are trying to forget. Uh, Oops. That one's loose. Come on, Stella. Don't stop halfway. A lot of stairs in this walk. Yes, I have. And so is Suyin. And I don't know if you know, I guess you know, we have the Western Auto sign is lit. We have three kids, but all of them are under 12, so they can't get vaccinated yet. They're working on it, but so far, no. Where I live, north part of Kansas City, county I live in, was really on the ball. And uh, a lot of the, the rest of the country, and I think a lot of the world looked at Clay County and asked them to show them how to do what they did. So. Aren't I lucky? The very first day that I was eligible, both times, I got my shot. I didn't have to wait in line. They were very organized. Yeah, Pfizer, Pfizer, yeah, Pfizer. That is a funny word, Pfizer. And. You can see a lot of people are now walking around without masks and things are starting to open up and people are enjoying life. There's about 30 to 40 percent of this country. And uh, we are hoping to reach a goal by July 4th of 70 percent of this country immunized but we won't make that goal for the stupidest of reasons. And um, you know, we have the, the, uh, the Delta variant, which started in India. And what's it gonna take, a newer, stronger variant? 
maybe the next variant won't care about the vaccine. Maybe it'll be immune to us. And we'll start all over again. Everybody will have to mask up. All the businesses will shut down. And the trend has been that they get stronger and more infectious with each variant. So, thanks to people who won't get their, their will be completely resistant. Yeah, that's good. They say that almost immediately you're about 70% um, 70 vaccinated and that the second shot you get will be more or less a booster. But you have to keep following your protocols until you get that second shot. And then even then, after that, still follow them. Because I'm guessing, with talking to my relatives, that most people in the Philippines haven't gotten their shots. I don't know if they're not available or if people are just not getting them. Love this neon sign. So here we are, first Friday art walk in Kansas City. And all I'm talking about are vaccines and shots and beer fluenza epidemic. But the reason for that is uh, because it's personal. Somebody else is trying to grab the camera. Facebook group just invited me to chat. The family group. Here's one of the Kansas City streetcars. They're being expanded south south. Whee! Wearing Monarchs red. The Monarchs were the uh, African American team back in the days of segregation in baseball, and they were the uh, what they called the Negro Leagues. All right, we're going to head that way. There's another streetcar coming our way. Woo <laughs> now it might start getting crowded over here. Looks it. Hope everybody has their shots. As I tell you, if they don't have their shots, they need to stay home. If that's their choice. Uh, I'm not showing enough doggies. How you doing, dongs?
<laughs> see performance of some sort up here Jimmy Are they playing their own song or are they playing, performing somebody else's music? Let's play it safe. Just stay over here. Don't want any copyright. But then I'll probably get it anyway with all the boom boxes going by. playing with lights over here. Jimmy, there's no food in there. Jimmy, there's no food in there. Jimmy, I said there's no food in there. Just got to investigate everything in case there's a morsel. There might be, there might be a crumb on that dollar bill there. Well, Jimmy, don't want to get in trouble because he stole somebody's tip money. Jimmy, where are you going? We're going this way, Jim. Oh, thanks. All right. Light is green. There's a former Kansas City Star building. You know, newspapers are no longer the thing anymore. Here's the Scientology building. Ooh, air conditioning, no doggies. Come on, Jimmy. I know you want the air. Jimmy, don't you even think about it. I don't like the, the street art that's down low, for obvious reasons. We can peek in here, but we can't go in. This is the mod gallery. Jimmy, no. Jim. Don't wrap around me, Stella. Unfortunately, 
with a low street art. Now it hasn't happened yet. It's almost happened. You should be allowed to throw one water balloon. In. But Jimmy becomes the world's most negative art critic. He gives the lift the leg award on the artwork, which we don't need because then somebody would get upset and we'd be responsible and we'd have to buy their art and then chances are we'd find out that Jimmy was very correct. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be like that. I'm not feeling very positive. Here's Hilliard. Pretty neat gallery. We can't go in because of dongs. But thanks to the nice wide windows, we can look in. There isn't much up front. All right, Stella, don't wrap around me. All right, for that quick turn, Stella. All right, I'll make an exception this time. Definitely need that. Ugh. If you're just tuning in, we're walking around Kansas City Crossroads, first Friday art walk. Uh, I'm not super talkative, and a lot of things I say are kind of negative because uh, personal reasons. Right now, we're watching doggies drink. They're really thirsty. Jimmy's about to drain that, and Stella's being foolish. She should be drinking instead of worrying about things that aren't going to hurt her. Sure, the dog, unfortunately. All right, while they do that, let's look back in the Hilliard. Hope I'm saying that right. At least look at some art instead of doggies drinking water. Or, you know, we're looking at art, but actually we're kind of like looking at a bunch of women's butts. Ah, Stella is drinking. Everybody quiet. Oh no, Stella go back to drinking. Are you guys done? You guys done? Nope. Jimmy is really thirsty, but he's always thirsty. All right, Stella. Drink. Drink, Stella. Drink. Drink. Nobody's going to bother you. Nobody's going to bother you. See, that's the way Stella is. All right, we ready? We ready? Continue our adventure. Know what this is now it used to be a performance space it looks like it's really set up yeah right, it looks like it's still the same still owned by the same person possibly it's kind of neat in there it, you know performance spaces have been now uh, you know what now i need to use that there we go can't really see much but reflections You guys did it again. Ooh, I smell fireworks. I guess it is that time of year. on camera number one. Let me put it back on camera number 0.5. Now that we're back into some decent lighting, the One X camera is best in low light.
right, I guess we can cross at any time. There's really no lights here, just a blinky red light. these people blaring past me with their music glass and get past me in 14 seconds or less. I used to be that obnoxious. always hilarious to me. <laughs> to hear that kind of rap music with those words and that language. We're really going to lose our I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they're mixing the music well enough. That... Last time I did this, I went through the gallery. Now I have the doggies with me, so no, can't do that. And now uh, is this the dreaded yellow rope? The velvet rope, thou shalt not pass here. Oh, they're serving alcohol. Come on, dongs. Let's get through. All right, how's it going? Pretty good, how you doing? Found my way in. I don't know if I can find my way out. Something's getting ready to happen. A man of some sort. I know that has to be really loud. Yeah. Yeah, that was better last week without the snow fence. Now I just feel really hemmed in. And they're not drawing as big a crowd, but nobody is. This is like. I think uh, June, first Friday is one of the busier ones because it usually coincides with Pride Week. In July and August kind of peters out because um, most of the galleries aren't open and come on Jim. And uh, it's just too hot. Plus, July is always close to the holiday weekend. Come on. Good dogs, they don't even care. You gotta protect the little doggies. Jimmy, honestly, does not like little dogs. Or children. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna have like a good or a scarf, it's good. So I have to be very vigilant with him in public. Now he does pretty good usually, he does what I tell him. But when a child insists on running up to him and trying to hug you, Jimmy, or a little dog insists they get, they're gonna get really excited and run away from their owner and go up to Jimmy. 
There ain't much I can do. So I have to be extra vigilant. We got blinky lights coming. Jimmy. out of anything good lord yucky water this place before the beer fluenza epidemic would be so packed you couldn't even find a seat but now with the the july first friday and the the effects of the beer fluenza not so much and last, last first Friday in June, it was like that too. Matter of fact, it looked like it was about ready to close when I walked past it. The last into that gallery up there. I don't know what the new ownership is like. I think I'm going to move to camera one. Or the One X camera. Sorry I'm not so entertaining and telling jokes and weird stories and stuff like that. I'm just mostly in this for the walk. I didn't even plan to live stream. I didn't even know this was going on. so much going on lately that we've really been distracted. Oh, thanks. Oh. High Tides Coffee. I have to try it sometime. I wonder what their hours are. No, Jimmy, do not even think about it. Seven to ten every night except Sunday. Looks like coffee house in the mid collective is a a gallery that hosts or you know is usually run by multiple artists or collective of artists there it is so i have to try it high tides um late a lot of coffee houses coffee bars are being run by churches and i tend to stay away from them because um, because of their tax status. They're using their, their uh, status as a church as a dodge to run multiple businesses tax-free. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's right. I don't think a congregation's collection plate should be used to run private businesses. And... Uh, 
There's a lot of them here in Kansas City now. And if that's the case, and the church wants to be a business, then tax the church. It's no longer a church as far as I'm concerned. have to be careful crossing these streets. I'm sorry it's a little more shaky. I guess I could put it back on. There. Come on, Jim. Even with a gimbal, when you zoom in, you start and wander around, you start shaking. Lead the way, Jim. Stay away from Okay. The funniest thing, one of the funniest things I've seen Jimmy do, being a doma in mind and spirit, was walk up to behind one of these girls with a short skirt. He stuck his nose right up her butt. And then she jumped and he jumped, but when he did, he lifted his head and lifted her skirt for the whole world to see. It was, uh, it was unintended voyeurism, but maybe Jimmy is a dirty old man too. Nah, he probably smelled her dog on her. You know, she probably had a dog in her lap or something. And, and he was just like investigating the smell. <laughs> but I felt really bad for the girl because the look on her face was like, oh my God, who's grabbing me? And she turned around with the look of like, who do I slap? <laughs> Not impressed. And then she looked down and saw that it was a dog that did it and she started laughing. <clears throat> I think maybe the cold wet nose probably would have given it away. Yeah, there's a lot of walking around. Uh, I lose my copy right here. No, I'm not. I'm going to. I can do something about that. Oh. Uh, never mind. They stopped with the piped in music. I hate DJs, actually. Get a band playing original music and hopefully I won't get gigged on the copyright. And they even appreciate when you show up and you give them exposure as opposed to like somebody playing somebody else's music in public. And then that's somebody else expecting you to pay them. 
for the privilege. I'm like, hey, I didn't ask to have your music played in public. We know what's going to happen. So we actually got a special performance before we get to the results. Put a damn filter on it. So you can't publicly perform their music. Make it their responsibility, not ours. All right, go dial in. A lot of, lot of performers here tonight. So we got one more. Actually, one of the judges was pretty excited about seeing all the performances tonight. And he's actually this is like a music legend. contest, I guess. Performing all over uh oh, the gotta get across. You know, we had two legends here today, KC legends. Well, actually, they've <coughs> been all around the world. So, but they're well known around the world. Uh, I'm gonna show Max to the Max. Raise your hand real yeah, quick. Yeah. Max actually has a show on Monday and Fridays, 9 to 12. I don't know what time we're going to be playing. I'm not trying to put that on. Jazz into the mix. Almost got it on. I'm working on it. Alright, so groove into the mix. Oh, this is an anti-drug effort, looks like. We ready? Move it. Music contest. Move it. Move it. All right, here we go, everybody. Next, coming to the stands, our very own. Looks back up, so we'll go around it. This unicorn is playing piped music, too, so. I love this alley, even though it's crowded with cars. There, getting ready to wrap this up. I'm gonna go back to the car. Head on home and sulk. <coughs> uh oh, doggy, doggy. There's a doggy and they see it of course. They got their doggy gaydar going. <sighs> evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Now, what are the best first Fridays in Kansas City? Um, I don't know anymore. I kind of, kind of uh, gotten unenamored with it because of, uh, it's not what it was. It used to be local artists, now it's corporations taking over everything. And, I mean, I guess there's still a lot of local art. Stella, what are you doing? Get out of the street. All right. I mean, if you do the street stuff, some of the galleries are fine, but. First Friday is more or less about people watching. You're not gonna be able to here. There's, you know, there's too many people, they'll stand in front of the art, they'll have conversations. You know, that's what it's about, socializing, which is fine. I think April, May 1st Friday, May 1st Friday is probably definitely the best. Usually the best weather. April can be iffy. Half the April's it's 
raining or snowing and the other half it's like beautiful weather. May usually for sure. The weather's starting to get hot, but usually not too uncomfortable in June. The June can be pretty sticky and hot, but it usually coincides with the Pride Fest. That may be changing though. All right, come on dogs. This street used to be Wall Street. There's a dam. Nothing but people, and I don't know if it correlates with the fact that the major building up here, which was the center of art activity here in the crossroads was bought out by a realty group. The Bauer is another. Art collective kind of place. But This was my coffee house. I used to hang out at all the time. And it is long gone now. Two years gone, I think now. YJ's. I really miss YJ's. You know, I guess it's a sign of getting old. You start missing more. Come here, dogs. I could have crossed then, but. Anyway, we are pretty much out of it. It's just kind of parking here. This street has an interesting history. This is a film row. It's where Oh yeah, great, lovely. I love these Art Deco buildings over here. But this is uh, the area where uh, movie companies, you know, Hollywood movie companies used to distribute all their materials. Like, I think in some cases the actual movies were sent here and then distributed from here. And they had these kind of places in different towns. I think Dallas was one, Kansas City, maybe Chicago. I think Kansas City was in charge of the whole Midwest. <laughs> And, you know, by materials, I'm talking about movie posters, film stuff for the movies, whatever the companies needed distributed, they came to these buildings first and then they sent them out to all the theaters. So. That's why this street here is known as Film Row. Come on, dogs.
and we are now looking for my car because I parked because you know some of these things that look like parking spots are not you never know somebody might arbitrarily say hey let's tow that car make money off of it it's a real racket well, I see fireworks in the distance There's some sort of bar up here. You know, the thing about bars, bah. You either eventually grow past them, grow out of them, or if you don't, chances are you're an alcoholic. <laughs> Maybe I'm sounding judgy there, but. About the time you get a serious girlfriend is about the time you usually outgrow them. You realize, you know, a bar is like a fishing hole. A dry fishing hole at that. Wrong kind of uh. Maybe that's a gallery. Yeah, that might be a gallery. Who knows? 